wave motion cells like this are both interesting and attractive, but they do have a couple of problems. First, they're heavy, and shaking them around like this gets kind of tiring after a while. More importantly, the plexiglass sides are very slippery. Combine that with its weight, and they're very easy to drop. If they land on the floor, they're going to break, and that's where the real problem comes from. They're filled with half a gallon of oil and almost as much water dyed with food color. If all of this broke and spilled out onto a carpeting, it would be a nightmare to clean up. The solution is to mount the cell on a motorized base, which will automatically rocket back and forth to provide continuous entertainment and avoid the problem of it being dropped. Here's how I built one. While using my wave motion cell, I noticed it had a natural frequency of about 10 times per minute. As it happened, I had a 10 RPM servo motor. You can buy these from Amazon or Servo City for anywhere from uh, $12 to $24, depending which model you want. This uh, runs on 12 volts, and I happen to have an old 12 volt power supply that I could run it on. All I had to do is to mount this on a support and then provide an eccentric cam to go over the shaft that would raise and lower one end of the um, wave motion cell. I had also observed that uh, I needed a throw or a, one end to move up and down by about two inches. Here's the unit I came up with uh, to house the motor. Uh, it just fits into a snug hole the same size as the outside of the head of the motor. The shaft is fitted onto a two and a half inch diameter plywood wheel and the shaft hole is one half inch from the end. I found that this created an eccentric uh, drive which gave me the one inch, the two inch throw that I needed for good motion. I can't give exact dimensions because this is made out of scraps that uh, I just had laying around. The only thing I had to be careful of is that when the motor is in, when the cam is in the uh, lowest possible position, that it doesn't strike the base of uh, the drive. The only other thing I added were some rubber pads on the bottom so it doesn't slide around. The other half of the drive system was a fulcrum or a pivot point that supports most of the wave motion cell. It balances on this with just enough overhang so that there's a constant but small pressure on this wheel so it makes it keeps in contact with it and uh, by positioning this just a little bit past the uh, balance point you avoid putting too much stress on the cam and that's good because these uh, little drive motors don't have a whole lot of torque. The only thing I wanted to be careful of is that when the cam was in its uh, halfway position like this that these two heights very closely corresponded. That meant that the uh, wave motion cell was level at these two points. That ensures that each end goes up and down about the same distance. Let's put it together and see how it works. And here it is in operation. If you think it's a little underwhelming, I agree with you. The problem is, is the bookcase I have it mounted on is very dark. It doesn't provide any contrast for the waves to show off to their best effect. Fortunately, a sheet of white paper attached to the back solves that problem. I think you'll agree that that's a lot better. I attached a piece of foam rubber to the bottom of the wave cell that rides on the pivot point or the fulcrum. That's to keep it from sliding around and also provide some padding protection for the cell. I experimented with several different dry lubricants and materials to reduce the friction between the, um, the, cam, uh, the plywood cam and the, the underside of the plexiglass wave cell. But it turned out that the lowest friction was achieved by just smoothing the cam uh, with uh, 
uh, 180 grit sandpaper and letting it ride on the plexiglass with no lubrication at all. So that's how I made the drive for my wave motion cell. And if you have one of these and you're tired of shaking it around or afraid of it uh, being dropped, uh, try building one of these. It only ran about uh, $25 to build the base and uh, provides continuous entertainment. As always, thanks for watching.